Okay, we had that situation in the previous video where I'm trying to flip both of these bits. We call it flipping the bits because uh, it's, it's like flipping the light switch, is it not? We're flipping a light switch off. That means you just turn it off or you turn it on. A light switch is a binary digit, and so we generally say flip the lights on or flip the lights off. My grandfather-in-law, we told him to flip the lights on one day, and all of a sudden he just flipped off the light. He didn't actually flip the light off. He raised his hand, and then he raised his middle finger, and he flipped off the light and went upstairs. Anyway, we want to flip these bits. How can we do that with an AND or an OR? Well, I showed you in the previous video, we just can't do it with one operation. We had to do an OR and then an AND, or an AND and then an OR, and we had to be careful with what we're using for the inputs. Well, there's actually another operation uh, which will flip or invert all of the bits, and that's NOT, N-O-T. We NOT these things. Well, what does that mean? It's kind of like when you're a teenager and when you're talking to your parents, like, blah, 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 NOT. <laughs> Do I sound like a teenager? I don't know. I'm well past my teenage age. But essentially, it's the opposite of what you have when you use a NOT. Let's uh, do that with a single digit. Let me just go here. If we have a 1 and I not a 1, that means give me the opposite or not a 1. And the opposite of a 1 is a 0. Okay, and same thing if I have a 0 and I not an OT the 0, that gives me the opposite of the 0, which is a 1. All right? Not a big deal, no pun intended. Let me uh, erase all these. So if I apply the not operator to these two bits, it's essentially going to invert them as we did before, but it will do it in one operation. So not of 1 gives us 0, and not of 0 gives us 1. There we go, nice and simple. Using one single operator, I was able to flip all the bits in my my binary value here. And, and if I had several other bits, I'm just going to randomly throw several bits out here. All right, if I not all these, the same thing holds true. It doesn't matter how many uh, bits we have. So the not of 1 will give 0, not of 1 will give 0, not of 0 gives 1, not of 1 gives 0, 1, 0, 0. Hopefully you're seeing the pattern here, 1, 1. So these are the inverse, uh, this is the inverse set of this. We've simply inverted all the bits. That's another technical term you'll hear is say, hey, invert all the bits. Well, you just do a not. Notice, with and and or, right, let me write them over here, and and or, that was a binary operation, meaning if I wanted to do an and or an or, I had to have two values uh, to do that. For example, let's just, let's do or, right? Um, say I have this value, we'll go four bits, why not? And I have this value, like that. If, if I want to do an or, well the or, the or requires both values, so it's this bit or that bit, right? One or zero is one. Zero one is one. One one. One or one is one. Zero or zero is zero. It takes two arguments. Okay, this is a binary operator. Bi meaning two, kind of like bicycle. Right? Bicycle has two wheels. Same thing. Two arguments. Um, same thing with and. It's an a binary operator. If I wanted to do an and, I could do an and, and I would require two inputs. But the NOT operator, it's a unary, kind of like a unicycle. A unicycle has one wheel. It's a unary operator and it takes uh, one operand is what we call these arguments, if you would. It's, it only requires one. Anyway, unary, binary, NOT, inverts all the bits, good to go.